Okay, 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 okay. I keep hearing some of the same uh, crapola over and over again about the new sensor breeds that are coming out, and of course I've talked about them endlessly a couple months ago. I like the new Canon 50 megapixel. And people are saying, well, there has to be a new breed of lenses to accommodate these 50 plus megapixel sensors. And the answer is no, that's not the case. Um, what uh, is being done is that uh, they're narrowing the spectrum of the lenses attributes so that it will have maximum corner to corner sharpness. But there does not have to be a new breed of Apparently there's some quote-unquote experts out there, I won't say who they are, that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground, that are saying, well those old manual AI and AS lenses, when Nikon comes out with 50 megapixel sensor, which of course they're going to do here later at the end of this year, which they are, those won't work on the new breeds, and that is BS! It's nonsense, it's lies. See, here's the nature of the beast. <whistles> oh, I hate stupidity. Um, the Nikon D7100, for example, is the DX pixel, uh, DX sensor, okay? Now, the pixel density of the photo sites, if it were scaled up, and you kept the same pixel density per square millimeter, and you scaled it up to a full frame size sensor, it would be a 54 megapixel sensor. In other words, all you have to do is just keep the density to the same and make it as large as a full frame sensor, like on the Nikon D750 it would be de facto a 54 megapixel sensor. Actually the sensor on the current Canon 50 megapixel sensor is somewhere approaching 60. But it is only sampled at a rate of 50 megapixels. And that is to keep the buffer rate high and the 80 converter speed in the processor. That's all it can currently process. So if they were to sample it at its full potential, what would happen is that it wouldn't have its current buffer and transfer speeds. So. The sensor in the current Canon 50 megapixel is actually a lot larger than a 50 megapixel sensor. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? The 50 megapixel sensor in the current Canon, the new expensive one with the awesome uh, high uh, photosite density, is actually, I think it's 61 or 62 megapixel sensor. It can use the old Canon lenses, okay? Now there are lenses that are better suited for it, with better corner to corner sharpness. But when Nikon comes out with a 50 megapixel sensor, there will not have to be a new breed of lenses. Now there are engineering lenses with better corner to corner sharpness. But that does not mean that the older AI and AIS lenses and current lenses will not work on it. They will work perfectly fine, okay? All you are talking about, get this through your head. Ooh. People don't understand this for some reason. Yeah, I'm slapping myself in the head. Okay. It's not a new technology. It is a full frame sensor with DX pixel density. Understood? DX pixel density. Full frame sensor size. Not new technology. Not! It's a new breed of sensor. It's like I've, I've crossed uh, dog A with dog B and now we got dog C. Well, it's something new. Yeah, but it's not. It's just a combination of A and B. Because the advantages of full frame sensors basically don't exist anymore. And I've told you why, but nobody listens. It has to do with S and R firmware compression algorithms. Okay? Now, the uh, low signal-to-noise ratio issue with the smaller photo sites, which gathered less light because they're smaller, has been offset due to improved SNR firmware algorithms, okay? This stuff is used in radio astronomy now for nearly 25-some years, I believe. It's even longer than that, okay? That's why instead of creating huge radio telescope antennas, they're creating a lot of smaller ones in an array, and that smaller one in an array acts the same as a huge uh, antenna receiver for radio astronomy. It is the same thing. It eliminates out the time variable by using SNR, signal to noise ratio, firmware algorithms, which eliminates out the noise, the static, 
due to low gain in the smaller photo sites. So the difference between, used to be a better dynamic range and uh, of course a better, uh, um, uh, better sensitivity to light on full frame uh, sensors due to the larger photo sites. But now that has been offset and now there really is no advantage between full frame sensors and DX sensors. There isn't. Used to be, but there isn't. There's still a little bit, but it's basically nothing. And that is why the next breed of cameras are just going to be nothing other than full frame sensors, same as they are currently, but they're going to have DX pixel densities. Okay? That means the photo site density is going to be no different now, uh, uh, excuse me, on the next generation than it is currently except it's going to be a full frame sensor with DX pixel, pixel density which means that there does not have to be a new breed of lens and there actually been some quote unquote experts out there <coughs> assholes I won't say who they are uh, that are actually saying well there has to be a new breed of lenses to accommodate these new sets that's BS they don't know what the hell they're talking about they're smoking crack they're, they're hippies they're, they're, they're morons they're mental midgets they're mental incompetence they're, they're, they're mental midgets. That's as simple as that. So, anyway, I hope I was able to clarify that stupidity and uh, make it very straightforward. And that is one time where repeating myself hopefully will be productive. Okay? I say hopefully. <laughs>